SURF was founded at an American Craft Council show in around 1985, and uh, inevitably somebody on the way there or um, right before a show would have had a studio fire or something catastrophic happen in their lives. Somebody had been injured or somebody's studio had burned down or somebody's car had broken or somebody had had all their work stolen. And um, people would raise, you know, a small amount of money aisle by aisle um, for their, their neighbor and um, kind of send them off with, you know, this sort of community support. It was that gesture that got uh, a show producer at the time, Carol Settis from Ross, and Josh Simpson, and a few other artists started talking about, you know, shouldn't we institutionalize this grassroots gesture and make sure that, you know, we would always have some kind of support for our artists. It took at least six or seven years before we were able to begin to make small grants and loans. So after Hurricane Katrina in 2005, you know, that was our big aha moment, which was that, you know, we, it became very clear that no amount of money we could ever raise was going to right somebody's life when their home and studio had been reduced to a, a slab. Our years of being more reactive, you know, with our just emergency relief assistance wasn't enough and that we had to invest you know significantly in helping artists build more resilient careers. There's so much more about raising people's awareness about insurance and life insurance and if you have a life insurance maybe you should have a will and fire insurance and how and safety measures how to keep keep your studio safe so you don't have emergencies. And so we took on this uh, work of career protection in in many different facets of that work. Uh, and that really became sort of equal to our emergency relief work, which is the work that, you know, pulls at the heartstrings. But um, I always say if we do the career protection work really well, we'll put our emergency relief work out of business, which is, you know, the ultimate goal. SURF has grown spectacularly in the last 30 years, going from just a telephone in my studio to now having an office of its own in Vermont. It was always meant to be a national organization, but now it really truly is. And under the leadership of Cornelia Carey, it's just grown and done amazing things. But it certainly was, you know, visionary to create an organization like SURF that, you know, could help support its own. Um, because artists are very, you know, self-dependent. They're very self-reliant and, um, and yet, um, because of, you know, the lack of that safety net, you know, really a, a temporary setback can turn into, you know, permanent silence. The slightest little thing happening to you. You're shoveling snow and you break a wrist or you have a car accident or your van breaks down. Suddenly you're unable to make a living. And Craft Emergency Relief Fund is utterly instrumental in helping you get over a, a really short-term hardship with small, usually small amounts of money, but it really comes in handy when it does. When an artist comes up to me and, and thanks me for the work that we do, I say, really, we wouldn't exist if it wasn't for you. You know, we want you to be strong and resilient, but we also, you know, depend on you to keep this work for, going forward. And so I think I'm most proud of, of all of us, of the field, you know, that, that we could actually make this happen. Um, you know, back in 1987 when we gave out our first grant, I think it was $250. And to now be able to, you know, really make a significant difference. Um, before, I think it was just sort of the feeling that you got, that your, your community cared about you, um, which was very valuable and continues to be so. But and now it's also, you know, a significant boost and an and important part of somebody's recovery. And, and I'm, I'm incredibly proud of that. I'm Cornelia Carey. I have the best job in the world. I'm executive director of Surf Plus, the Artist Safety Net.